Today in our 2013 Toyota Highlander, we'll be installing the Kurt Hitch, part number 13534. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we're going to give you a couple measurements to assist with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is one inch. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 14 and a half inches. This will assist with selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. Now let's go ahead with installation. To begin our install, we'll first need to remove the underbody trim panels. Here on the driver's side, to remove the underbody panel, there are a total of six fasteners, two push pin fasteners, and four screws. To remove the push pin fasteners, we'll take a flat blade screwdriver, pry out in the center of the fastener, and then remove it completely. Now with the screws removed, we'll go ahead and pull the panel out and set it aside for reinstallation later. Next, we'll need to remove the tow hooks on each side. To remove the tow hooks, there are two fasteners for each. Once we remove the fasteners, we'll set the hardware and tow hooks aside as they will not be reinstalled. Next, we'll move over to the passenger side. We're gonna go ahead and cut out the necessary portion here on the vehicle. To do that, we'll use our paint marker to mark the area and a Dremel to cut out the section. Now with our cut made, we'll go ahead and remove the bolt that secured it to the frame. Now to make it easier to install the hitch, we're gonna go ahead and remove the underbody panel on the passenger side. To remove the underbody panel, we'll go ahead and remove the three remaining fasteners that secure it. One push button fastener and two screws. Next, we'll go ahead and point out our attachment points. There'll be three on the driver's side and four here on the passenger side. Two on the side of the frame and two in the bottom of the frame. Here on the passenger side, we'll need to remove the three weld nut caps. Two of the three will be our attachment points. The third will prevent a clear metal to metal contact between the hitch and the frame. For each one of these attachment points, we'll secure it with the new 10 millimeter bolt and 3 8 conical tooth washer, the teeth of the washer facing the hitch. Now we're ready to go ahead and install the hitch. It's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you hold the hitch while you install the fasteners. We'll install each fastener finger tight until we have them all in place. Now with all our fasteners in place, we'll go ahead and tighten them down. Then torque the specifications as indicated instructions. Here on the driver's side, to trim the underbody panel, we'll follow the instructions and continue the cutout seven and a half inches. Now with that done, we'll need to cut out an opening so that we can fit it around the hitch. Going off the cutouts to the front corner, we'll move it at a diagonal shape. I'll go ahead and mark it with my paint marker and then use the rotary tool to cut it out. Now with all our cutouts made, we can go ahead and reinstall the underbody panels. And with both panels reinstalled, let's complete the installation of the Kurt Hitch part number 13534 on our 2013 Toyota Highlander.